what's up guys uh, welcome to the physics video lecture series my name is rajat sharma and uh, today we'll be studying ideal pulley so we'll be studying ideal pulley it's a very very important in uh, important concept in uh, newtonian mechanics and uh, quite often you'll see questions uh, based on pulley system so it's very important to understand this concept just to give you an idea i am all of you are aware of what pulley is but uh, if you want to define it it's um, it's a machine that is used to change the direction of force and thus helps to raise heavy objects it's a very simple definition as far as the figure is concerned this is a pulley a wheel a wheel like structure and there is a cord that passes over the rim of the wheel <clears throat> this is the basic structure okay so one of the masses will be heavy other will be light so the heavy mass will move suppose m is greater than small m so the heavy mass will move downwards the light mass will move upwards so the dominating force whatever will be the direction of the dominating force the other side of the pulley will move in the opposite direction so you uh, you might have gone to a well okay so in a well what happens there's a man who is uh, pulling the rope and there is a bucket i'm very bad in drawing so please bear with me this is a well okay and this is the man okay basically this is attached like this there is no wall here i'm so <laughs> this is attached by a rod and the man is pulling the rope downward he is applying a force and what happens is that bucket rises upwards so basically he is applying force downwards but the bucket is rising upwards so this system is helping you to change the direction of force and thus it is helping you to raise heavy object which is the bucket in this case the very simplistic uh, application okay so let us try to understand the concept of ideal pulley what is an ideal pulley so when we talk about ideal pulley ideal pulley ideal pulley is a pulley which is which is first frictionless secondly massless <clears throat> okay so ideal pulley is a pulley which is frictionless and massless so it looks very weird on the face value but this is an a very generalization that we uh, follow to ease to simplify uh, question solving problem solving so this wheel has no mass and the rope which is going over the pulley is not experiencing any friction so the friction force here is zero so let let me write mu which is coefficient of friction coefficient of friction is zero okay these are the two simplifications that we use and what is the consequence of this simplification the consequence is very simple ideal pulley does not rotate 
and tension on both sides of the pulley is same now these two are pretty obvious just think about it if there is no friction the rope the rope which is going over the pulley it is not experiencing any friction and since there is no friction it cannot pull the wheel with it it cannot take the wheel with it if the if the rope is moving like this it cannot make the wheel to rotate with it because there is no friction there is no friction here okay so ideal pulley does not rotate the tension in the rope on both the sides of the pulley is same this is also a consequence of the same fact okay since the pulley is not rotating since the pulley is not rotating that means the torque generated by this side let us say the tension on the left hand side is t1 and the tension on the right hand side is t2 okay so this tension let us say the radius is r so this t1 will generate an anti clockwise torque the t1 will generate an anti clockwise torque let us call this tau1 so tau1 will be t1 into r force into the perpendicular distance from the point of rotation this is the point of rotation this is the perpendicular distance and this is the force and the right hand side will generate a clockwise torque that will be t2r now since it is not rotating hence tau1 is equal to tau2 so t1r is equal to t2r r gets cancelled t1 is equal to t2 so since the pulley is not rotating the tension on both the sides is same so ideal pulley is a pulley which does not rotate which is massless which is frictionless and the tension is same on both sides of the pulley these are the uh, some general characteristics in the next lecture we'll see how to solve questions related to an ideal pulley okay so stay tuned thank you